What's up, you guys? It is your girl, Bob Jalan, back to talk some more basketball with you all. I have been patiently waiting for the seasons to come back ever since it's been canceled. I was already in the throes of things when the season was still going on. I was excited for playoffs to start because we only had a quarter of the season left before they began. And I knew it was going to be on fire with all the great teams in the West and the East. So to pass the time, I thought I'd do my top five favorite small forwards in the NBA today. The small forward position is my favorite position in the NBA. If I was tall enough, that would have probably been my position if I played in high school. Number one, Brandon Ingram. Standing at 6'7 and weighing 190 pounds, Brandon Ingram's physicality provides him with undeniable gains. While his early years in LA did receive some doubt, there was none in my mind when it came to his potential. This season, he's averaging 24 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal per game, and has seemingly found a great fit with the New Orleans Pelicans. Side note, can the New Orleans Pelicans go back to being called the Jazz? The Jazz just sounds so much more fitting for New Orleans. Keep in mind that Brandon is this productive while averaging 34 minutes a game. These are commendable numbers for a fourth year player, so his ceiling bodes very well. Number two, Jason Tatum. When this guy came in the league, he immediately showed flashes of greatness and Mamba mentality. In his third year with the Boston Celtics, he averages 24 points, seven rebounds, and three assists, plus a steal and a block per game. Not bad for being the second or third option on his team. While on the court, Jason shows great court awareness and makes a considerable effort on every possession. His offense from the three-point line is smooth, but I especially enjoy his defense. His size and wingspan allows him to move effortlessly on positions one through five. His production in his first year was strong and only continues to improve. So I definitely see championships in this young star's future. Number three, Kelly Oubre Jr. Before his injury, Kelly Oubre was an important part of the Suns offense and defense. Like Jason, he is at times the second or third option on his team behind Ricky Rubio and Devin Booker. He averages 19 points, six rebounds, two assists, and one steal per game. I believe with a proper offensive scheme, these numbers can improve tremendously. Oubre is a great spot up shooter, which is needed in today's play style against the best teams. He's in his fifth year and showed hella promise with his first years on the Wizards. Plus, his ball handling skills off the dribble allows him to attack the game equally from the arc and inside the paint. He is what you'd call an all-around player. Small forwards are expected to be good on both sides of the floor, and Kelly shows his skill consistently. Number 4, Luka Doncic. Luka's sophomore season has proven to be even better than his first where he won the Rookie of the Year award. He averages 29 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, and 1 steal per game. I'm troubled. Last week messed around and got a triple double. Can you say MVP? He may not win it over Giannis this year, but those numbers are definitely deserving. Luka's height and weight proportions allow him to be nimble enough to move quickly and make athletic plays, but heavy enough to drive down the lane and body up another player in the paint. Watch as he flies by his opponents from one end of the court to another to score in this play, and then goes one versus three to score on this one. And here, check out how great the spacing of the floor is while he plays. There's always at least three people on the wing available to spot up if he decides to drive and pass. Oh, and his step back and three point game is crazy. Two free throws. Between the two best men on the floor and letting it rip. Ojale in the game for the first time and he gets Doncic. Doncic a step away. Three. Four rebounds in the game for Doncic. Crosses over. Comes up shooting. Lucas splashes in a three-pointer. 
You love to see it. He is the second leading scorer of forwards in the league behind Giannis Antetokounmpo. Luka and the Mavericks are currently seventh in the West, and I believe they have the capability to upset a team in the playoffs. Last but not least, number five, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi is the definition of allowing your game to speak for itself. In his ninth year in the league and after two rings, he is the third leading scorer amongst all forwards. As of now, he scores 27 points per game, seven rebounds, six assists, and two steals. His drives to the basket, while they are low verted, will have you going. Mama, there goes that man. His defensive ability is one that any basketball front office will trade a couple first rounders for. And he makes smart defensive plays. Watch as he blocks the shot on this possible game winner. This man watches the passing lanes constantly to make plays like this, giving his team the edge up. that it's safe to say that he'll be getting another ring in the near future. All right, guys, who are your five favorite small forwards? Or not even top five, top three, top one, whatever. List them down below in the comment section and let me know if you'd like me to do another compilation of my five favorite point guards or power forwards or whatever. I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.